welcome to our first official playthrough. Today we're going to be taking a look at Out There, developed by Me Cloud Studios. It's an upcoming Android and iOS device game, currently priced at $3.95 and available to pre-order from today. If you pre-order it from today, you will gain access to the soundtrack as well as the beta version of the game, the current one I'm playing, and then eventually the full game when it fully comes out. So let's go ahead here and get started and take a look what Out There is all about. So let's start off by having a look at the tutorial. And here, uh, when you start into the tutorial, you'll be greeted with a, a little synopsis as to how you got out of your solar system and, as they put it, out there in the mass wonders of the universe. And here we can see part of our mass inventory as well as the window where we can upgrade and replace certain items on our ship. Across the top you'll see your current ship's resources. And here, once you've dismantled your cryogenics in the tutorial level, or if you've just skipped the tutorial level, you will start off with the space folder, your interplanet travel device. Similar to a warp drive or a wormhole creator, 
it will allow us to travel vast distances and ultimately get home where this red arrow is now pointing to us in the bottom right of our screen. However, we can only go so far. The green circle only allows us to travel within that certain distance. So currently we can only go to two stars. And each time you go to travel to a star, you'll be greeted with this, the following window. Now, once you upgrade to certain technologies, you'll be able to view more information towards those um, solar systems. But it also indicates how much resources it's going to currently cost you to travel there. One of the nice things of out there is that the universe is procedurally generated. So each time that you fail or you restart the game, the stars will be in a slightly different position with slightly different orientations. And whenever you travel to those solar systems, you will occasionally bump into a little bit of a backstory like this. As you progress through the story, you will eventually come across habitable, habitable worlds where you might encounter alien life. And these planets, when you visit them, will also provide breathable atmosphere, refilling your oxygen a full percentage. And when you meet those alien life, you will eventually have to learn their language to communicate and even learn new technologies from them to help your journey across the universe. So let's start off orbiting a gas giant and gathering some fuel. I simply just click orbit and because I currently don't have the geo scan module installed which will allow me to see how many valuable resources are on the planet we have to manually guess. So let's go for a depth of about six kilometers, launch the probe. And the further you go down is the more likely you're going to pick up some of the rare items. I just simply drag and drop these items across and the nice thing as you just saw me do is I stacked them up, stacked my item up to 20. And once I'm done here, I can, or I, I can continue to probe the planet and get more resources, or I can switch back to the solar system and move on to the metallic planet. I'm gonna land. Drill. Now I apologise if you, if you're wondering what the flickering is, it is a beta and the capture software I am currently using is not liking the game for some reason. I can assure you it, it works really really nice and smooth on the Android device. Yeah. 
Now, because I've harvested some materials from both these planets, I could go on to the sun, but it would be extremely dangerous for the whole of my ship. I would be incinerated. Now, because my fuel is low, I am going to drag some fuel. Now, HE is the highest, the higher material, giving me more resources. I don't think we want to go to that, that solar system because there's a black hole there. Let's go over to the blue giant. Once or in a while, you'll come across these space stations, and they're very nice for supplying certain elements toward your ship. Let's see what we get here. Oh, it's fully repaired my uh, all of my ship. come across an alien planet which will habit some inhabit some life. Let's go take a look. resource or not prove very happy to them you don't have the chance to retalk to the race so just drill off some resources from their planet and move on to the next solar system working your way back home of course
Once in a while your ship's going to come across some various issues and you're going to need to repair or re even rebuild some of the components, otherwise you're going to be dead in the water in the middle of the universe. So you've got to make sure that you stop off at planets and gather those all important resources before venturing on to the next solar system. So in this case I've had to disable my space vault and with that, that means I won't be able to now travel to any of the interplanetary planets. I won't be able to jump to the next solar system because I can no longer, longer travel. So what I need to do now is mine on some of these planets that I'm in the reach of and see if I can gather those all important three elements and see if I can rebuild an interplanetary device otherwise I'm stranded. <laughs> So I was lucky. I managed to get enough resources to rebuild my space fold. Let's leave this solar system and venture off to another. Thank you. 
As you can see, I've uh, run out of some fuel here, and that's it, that's my game over. And then I'm only left with the option to go back and start from the beginning and, and see where I end up next, somewhere out there. Thank you very much for checking out our first official playthrough, we hope to be doing more in the future. And you can check out our partners Nerd Junkies where they hosted a live stream the other week and conducted an interview with the developers on cast, and you can find that link on the screen now. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our social networks for more information. Again, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed.